Navigating options. Master the art of, would you prefer? Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into a powerful conversational tool, the phrase, would you prefer? This phrase helps us present alternatives or choices in a polite, respectful way. You'll find it especially useful in making offers and responding to requests. Let's start with understanding what would you prefer means. When we ask someone, would you prefer? We're inviting them to choose between two or more options. We're acknowledging their preference and giving them control over the decision. It's a great way to foster a respectful, considerate conversation. Examples. Would you prefer coffee or tea? Would you prefer to meet in the morning or in the afternoon? Remember, it's important to ensure your tone of voice sounds friendly and open, as this will impact how your question is perceived. Let's now look at some situations where you can use this phrase. 1. In restaurants. When you're with a friend and the waiter asks for your order, you could ask your friend, would you prefer to order first? 2. Planning activities. When making plans with friends, instead of dictating the plan, you could ask, would you prefer to go to the movies or stay in and play games? 3. At work. When scheduling a meeting with colleagues, you could ask, would you prefer to have this meeting online or face-to-face? -face? These examples show how, would you prefer, can be used in a variety of contexts to give others a choice. Now that you know how to use, would you prefer? Let's learn how to respond to it. You can simply express your preference by stating it outright, or use phrases like, I'd prefer, or, I would rather. Examples. Would you prefer coffee or tea? I'd prefer tea. Thank you. Would you prefer to meet in the morning or in the afternoon? I would rather meet in the morning. This helps keep the conversation going smoothly and politely. And there you have it. Using, would you prefer, is a simple yet powerful way to foster a respectful and considerate conversation. Keep practicing and before you know it, you'll be using this phrase like a pro in your everyday conversations. I hope this video has been helpful. See you in our next English learning journey.